Fireman's Fund Insurance Company has conducted a comprehensive national firefighter study designed to determine the needs of the country's fire service. Fire departments across the country face a variety of challenges, from budget cuts to staffing issues, and the current economic crisis is making these problems worse. The majority of departments, over 55 percent, fear that if the economic crisis continues into next year, that it will negatively impact their ability to serve the community. Firefighters, we have to be prepared for whatever. There's many types of rescue calls that we have to become good in today. We're doing everything we can, but the equipment is, is expensive, and, and that's where we need, we need our help. I've been a longtime supporter of uh, the two federal grants that have been available to our firefighters, the Assistance to Firefighters Grant and the SAFER program. President Obama proposed to double the SAFER program, which is uh, to, to make sure that you can hire more fire, firefighters. Uh, that's good news. The bad news is that he cut the, uh, fire, uh, fire, the Assistance to Firefighters Grant by 70%. Uh, limiting their access to uh, more training and to uh, equipment that is, that's needed. That's the bad news. Let's just take a moment here because not all of the Illinois results were negative. 92% uh, of departments have a thermal imaging camera considered a critical tool in identifying hot spots and locating uh, people uh, in an emergency. This is the, the thermal imaging camera that we use here in the fire district. Thanks to Congresswoman Bigger, we got four of these for each one of our fire engines. And that's why there's a two-year-old girl in Lamont that's alive today, whose parents came here on open house and then introduced their eight-year-old son to me as the man that saved their daughter's life. So that's what this, these kind of tools do for us in the fire service. Funding for firefighters is funding for all of us. It's for our safety and our protection. And we simply can't cut corners when it comes to saving lives. And so I think that this survey will help to show the appropriators that you can't want to hire more firefighters when you want to, to cut the resources and the training that they will have. You really play the way you practice. And you know our lieutenants are very strict about how they practice and train. And when it comes down to a life or death situation, I mean, Kevin, from uh, Genesis Tools mentioned the golden hour, but really it's a matter of life and death in seconds. When somebody has the steering wheel pressing against their chest and their heart stops beating, I mean, we have a matter of seconds to get that steering wheel off. And that's where this training comes into play. Recently, we've taken over about eight miles of I-355. And what we're finding is we're, we're having, uh, the crashes are getting worse because they're high speed crashes. Whereas before on Lamont Road, we had 45 mile an hour crashes whereas now we're dealing with uh, 70, 75 mile an hour crashes. So there's a lot more damage to the cars. The new cars are a little harder to work on. They're a little stronger and the tools have to be a little stronger. So we're looking to upgrade uh, the jaws of life. I sent a letter to the House Appropriations Committee to ask them to consider the Fireman's Fund survey as they determine funding levels for uh, these important programs. This particular fire district every year has this wonderful tradition of having uh, the villagers over to really uh, see what's going on and, and to educate them in what they can do to keep themselves safe and work with the firefighters. And it's always a great day. I always have come to this. And I've gotten in the past, you know, several pieces of equipment for them because they need it.